All right, this is Free Calculus V, Unit 4, Lesson 8, Operations of Complex Numbers in the Polar Form, in Polar Form. And we're going to deal primarily with multiplying and dividing and raising to powers because there's a great benefit or a, a, it's, it's, it proves to be much easier to multiply, divide, or raise to a power in polar form than it does in rectangular form. And uh, the whole basis of this is, is this, this little derivation that I'm going to do that demonstrates the principle. So let's say we have two complex numbers, Z1, which is R1 cosine, or R1 cis cosine plus I sine, R1 cis theta 1. And Z2 is R2 cis, which is cosine plus, cosine theta plus I sine theta 2. So we have two complex numbers. We're going to multiply them. We're going to find the product. The z1 times z2. Okay, according to this, that's r1 cis theta 1 times r2 cis theta 2. Okay, rearranging a little bit, that's r1 times r2 cis theta 1 cis theta 2. Now let's expand it to what it actually means. R1, R2, cosine theta 1, plus I sine theta 1, cosine theta 2, plus I sine theta 2. Okay, let's do a little distributing. You may remember FOIL or, or double distributing, however you tend to think of it. Okay making sure we multiply all pairs. I'm going to do the first and last first. So um, this is equal to R1, R2, cosine theta times cosine, cosine theta 1 times cosine theta 2. Cosine theta 1, cosine theta 2. And then I'm going to do the last. Uh, I'm actually going to do the lasts here. I sine theta to 1 times i sine theta 2. You remember, you may remember i times i, i is the square root of negative 1, so i times i is negative 1. And so this is negative 1 sine theta 1 sine theta 2. Because i squared i times i is negative 1. Okay? All right, so I'm going to offset that here. I'm going to put parentheses around that to keep it separate here. All right, plus, plus, and let's do the, the middles and the outsides here. So the outsides, cosine theta times I sine theta. So the, the next two terms are going to have an I in it, so I'm going to factor out an I. So cosine theta 1, cosine theta 1, sine theta 2. Okay. And then the middles, I sine theta 1 times cosine theta 2, factor out the I, and we're left with sine theta 1, cosine theta 2. Okay, all right. And the reason I separated it like this is this one on the left actually is, actually is the very definition of the cosine addition addition identity. And this identity is the sine addition identity. So R1, R2, this is going to be cosine theta 1 plus theta 2. The cosine addition theta addition identity. Plus I and then this is the sine addition identity, sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, and we can simplify this to R1, R2, cis, theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay, so that's the derivation of the rule. Z1 times Z2. You multiply the, the, the ratio, the radius, multiply the radius, and you add the angles. That's it. That's it. To multiply two complex numbers in polar form, you multiply the, the radius, and you add the, add the angles. Okay? Let's, let's uh, apply it. So 
let's say z1 is is uh, 2 cis 2 cis uh, 45 degrees and z2 is 3 cis um, now let's go 30 degrees okay then z1 times z2 is 2 times 3 cis 45 plus 30 or 75 degrees okay 2 times 3 cis 75 degrees that's really kind of a cool little result now it's not quite so easy when you have rectangular coordinates uh, now if you're just multiplying rectangular coordinates uh, straight off just the z1 times z2 it's not that hard to to distribute and get your answer so I'm, I wouldn't say it's necessary to convert to polar form to do that but where the real power comes in is now what if I want to raise z to a power let's do that okay and by the way that that there's a corollary that comes from this as well if I want to divide z1 divided by z2 I divide the radiuses, radius 1 divided by radius 2, cis, and then you subtract the angles, theta 1 minus theta 2. Okay, use the inverse properties. Okay, and I'll leave that to you to, to verify or prove. Uh, but what really is fascinating is when we have z to the power of n, when we're going to raise something to the power of n, the corollary that falls out of that is it's r to the power of n, so raise the radius to the power of n, and you add theta n times, well that's n times theta, so r cis n theta. Okay, and that's where it's really powerful. Let me give you an example, and I'll leave with this example here. So let's say we have z equals 2 plus 3i. Okay, 2 plus 3i. Um, and actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and leave it like that. And we want to find z to the power of 10. Okay, now you could do this. You could do 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i times 2 plus 3i, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until you have, until you have 10 of them. 2 plus 3i. And you would fill your sheet of paper, probably both sides, calculating it, and chances are you'd make a mistake somewhere along the way. Okay? You could use the binomial expansion, where, where uh, you use binomial coefficients, and that, that actually could work here. Uh, the problem there, though, is it would still take a lot of work to simplify it down, because it's going to simplify down to a single complex number, and a real and an imaginary part. Okay, because uh, all the i's, i's to the even power are going to be, well, i's to the squared power are going to be negative ones, and so forth and so on. So here's here's the simple simplified rule: convert it to polar form. Z equals now if I want to convert polar form here, two plus three i. So we have. 2 and 3, the imaginary axis is 3, and the real axis is 2. The radius is square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is 4 plus 9, which is square root 13. And the angle, theta, is arctangent, or actually I prefer to start with this, I prefer to start with this, tangent of the angle is 3 over 2. So theta is arctangent, 3 halves. Okay, and let's go ahead and get an answer here. Uh, let's bring up Desmos. Oh, Desmos, here boy, here boy. Come on, Desmos. Who's a good Desmos? All right. Yes, your math teacher is going a little crazy treating his online calculator like a puppy dog. All right. Here we go. Is it going to work today? Here we go. Okay. 
So theta is arctangent 3 halves. Now we, we're, we're going to default to radians here. So radians is what it's set to. Okay. So I'm going to say theta equals arctangent 3 halves. Okay, and it's not going to like that because theta is a reserved. So I'm going to say T. Okay, so there's my angle in radians. Not quite one radian, but pretty close to one radian. Not quite. Okay, so point, I'll say 0.98 for the sake of simplicity. 0 0.98. Okay, so Z to the 10th then is R to the 10th. So root 13 to the 10th times cis cosine plus i sine uh, of uh, n or 10 theta, 10 theta, 10 times 0 0.98. Okay, and there we have it. So 13 to the 13 squared is, uh, thir square root 13 squared is 13. So this is 13 to the fifth, or you can think of it as 13 to the half cis uh, 10 times 9.98 or cis 9.8. Okay, z to the tenth. Now, if you want it in rectangular form, we can still do that. We can still do that. Uh, so 9.8. And how does that compare to radians here? So 9.8 radians are t radians. T t radians, which is 9 point times 10, okay, 9.8. Now I want to subtract off multiples of 2 pi. 2 pi minus 2 pi, yep, that's too far. Okay, so 3.5, so 3.5 radians, pi radians, 3.14, so that'll put it in the third quadrant. That's important to picture here where it is, third quadrant. Okay, and we want to we want to break it into its coordinates here. So, um, cosine. So we are going to break it into its coordinates. Um, Thirteen to the fifth, cosine of ten t. Okay, and thirteen to the fifth sine 10t. Okay, so this is negative 341,000. So z to the tenth is negative 341,000. Where did my calculator go? 341,525 plus i sine 10t. Okay, which is negative 145,668. Negative 145,668, and that's negative, so let me change this to a negative. Boom, shakalaka. All right, All right? So that's definitely in the, in the quadrant here, in the third quadrant. So negative 341,525 and negative 145,668, okay? And that would have taken absolutely forever to do by hand by any other method. But converting to polar form, raising the r to the power of 10, multiplying the ang angle theta by, by, by 10, and gives me, gives me the, the answer in relatively easy form.